This is Aaron with anetcomputers.com with another video for you today. This one deals with how to use ChatGPT image and voice features. Now ChatGPT is an acronym which stands for Chat Generative Pre-Trained Transformer and OpenAI is the company that created ChatGPT and that's an acronym that stands for Open Artificial Intelligence. So now, as you can see on screen, the chat generative pre-trained transformer can now see, hear, and speak. They have included two new features, which is basically you can upload an image or you can create an image on the fly. And then ChatGPT will, whatever you ask or however you communicate with the generative pre-trained transformer, with, you know, details about that photo if you have questions or you know, et cetera, ad nauseum and infinitum. Also, there's a text-to-speech feature now that you can use with the chat generative pre-trained transformer. All right. Now, for now, at least, I'm not sure if this will ever change, but this is only exclusive to enterprise and plus end users. Then, after that, they claim that they're going to roll out these two new features to only developers and then one of the features you have to use a smartphone application either the Apple iPhone operating system application or Google Android smartphone application so these are just some details about these two new features use voice to engage back and forth and this is how you do it so in order to use the text to speech feature, you would browse to settings and then you would choose new features on the mobile application. Again, either for the Google Android operating system or the Apple iPhone operating system. And then you would click on the headphone button, which they claim will be located in the top right corner. And then you're going to choose your your voice you you get up you get to choose up to five different voices and you're going to choose one of them it is text to speech and it can transcribe your human voice so you're going to communicate to the chat generative pre-trained transformer over a voice and then it will transcribe it to text so that ChatGPT can understand it. And then, you know, what I'm saying, and vice versa. Actually, I think the ChatGPT pre-trained transformer actually can now communicate in voice. And then they have their own speech recognition system, which they call Whisper. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you want to whisper into the chat GPT interface, you know, but whatever. I guess everything's a secret. Yeah, secret societies. I mean, oops, oops, I do not think that we censor YouTube would like me to discuss those kind of topics. So let me digress back to this video. You know what I'm saying? And it will, it is supposed to transcribe your voice, your audio from, you know, an audio format into text. Now, I'm not going to play these because of potential copyright. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Just because it's ch chat generative pre-trained transformer. No. No, I wouldn't trust it. But you can browse to this blog post at openai.com. You know, this is directly from the source. Directly from Open Artificial Intelligence website. And then you can just type that in. And you can read this on your own accord. And you can play these audios. You can listen to them, but I'm not going to dare even attempt to play them. Okay. Now the image feature. Basically what you do is you just upload an image. And then but you want to ask ChatGPT either with your voice now or over text what exactly you want from the chat generative pre-trained transformer. And now I think this one is exclusive to mobile. So this is what the interface looks like. You just upload it. And then now you're going to click on the photograph button. 
you can either capture an image using your camera on your smartphone or you can upload an image. You must use the Apple iPhone operating system or the Google Android operating system. Then you would click on the button, the plus button. It's, it says you can also, what? I don't know if you can upload multiple images. It just says that you can discuss multiple images. They also have a, a drawing tool. I think in this example, yes, they have a drawing tool in case you need to point out exactly what you're referring to so you can draw. Or I guess you could just draw, it, you know, use a drawing tool for, you know, skin. I'm trying to think what else you to point something out. You could have a, use an arrow or a circle or maybe to underline or whatever. So there is a drawing tool. That is basically it. That is how to use chat, TPT, image, and voice recognition feature. It's, it's text to voice, and they have their own transcriber called Whisper, you know, of all things. <laughs> well, I actually, I prefer whispering. You know what I'm saying? I prefer peace and quiet. I don't really particularly enjoy yelling. However, you know what I'm saying? You may have to talk louder. You may not be able, but I don't know. Just maybe, maybe chat GPT is secretive and it, and it does not want other people to know what you and he or she or it are having a conversation about. Everything must be secret. Okay. Now, uh, chat GPT, the open artificial intelligence, uh, they start off with chat generative pre pre Trained transcriber version 3.5 well 3 I think now they're on 3.5 and even you know version 4 so voice and image and down here they clarify what was another piece of information I wanted to leave with right here for the first few weeks it will only be available to Plus and Enterprise users. Plus is a paid subscription. And then Enterprise, I think, is for businesses and companies and government. Then they claim that after the trial period, so to speak, that they are going to roll it out for developers. It says right here. Including developers soon after. Now, I'm not sure in context with what that means because there are some free websites that you can use to access ChatGPT. Are they considered a developer? And then I will be able to test the text to speech and image? I do not know, I guess I will find out. That's it, that's my video pertaining to how to use ChatGPT image and voice features. You can always browse to anacomputers.com to fix your most common computer problems. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash anacomputers. I think I'll leave it for now. I'm going to eventually update my website. So my main page, anetcomputers with an S.com. I will have some icons where you can, you'll be able to access and all of my platforms. I'm, I'm, I'm on so many platforms now. You know, TikTok.com slash at sign ANET computers, Instagram.com slash ANET computers, Twitter.com slash ANET computers, Facebook.com slash ANETCOMPUTE, Rumble.com slash ANET computers, Trova.live slash ANET computers, Twitch.tv slash ANET computers. You know what I'm saying? And that just gets cumbersome. And so in the future, I'm just going to update my homepage and I'll just tell you that you can just browse to Ana computers to fix your most common computer problems and find out what other platforms I'm located on. Adios!